This video shows how to install the smallest vision language model locally and play around with it. The model is just 750 lines of code. That's it. That's the full model. It's designed to be simple, hackable and easy to train. Nano VLM from Hugging Face is a lightweight vision language model built from scratch in pure PyTorch with a Llama style decoder. On few of the benchmarks, the findings are quite interesting. It has achieved around 35% on MM star with only 6 hours of training on a single NVIDIA H100 card, matching small VLM 256 million models performance. Now, if you compare the training time of both models, small VLM and nano VLM, this one is 100 times fewer GPU usage. You can even train it on free Google Colab that is going to take around 7 hours, but still you can do that. The vision encoder is Siglip, whereas Llama decoder is Llama. So let's get it installed and we will see how it works. For the VM and GPU, I am going to use this Ubuntu system and my GPU card is this. Let's get clone the repo of this nano vlm and i will drop the link to it in video's description i also want to thank mass compute for sponsoring the vm and gpu you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent okay so now we have this um, repo cloned the tool which i'm going to use as a package manager is this uv you can use any other tool of your choice like conda and all that stuff but i will be using this so let's first initialize uv and i'm using a, a recent and latest version i just initialized that nano vlm let's sync it and i'm syncing it with python 3.12 let's activate the environment That is also done and we have stepped into that virtual environment as you can see in the braces on the left hand side let's also install all the prerequisites and it will manage all the dependencies by itself while it does that let me quickly introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and all the dependencies are done now before we run this let me show you the generation code here so this is a generate.py script which they have shared in their repo all this is doing it is importing the libraries it is downloading this trained model which is nano vlm just 222 million parameters and this is the actual file name in that hugging face repo and you can imagine how far we have come that now we have a vision model which can uh, you know read your images and then you can talk with it so you can just simply give it any prompt like what is this by providing an image and we are just providing an image from the local assets which i will also show you shortly and then it is giving us the response it might generate multiple generation and then we will print it out so let me first show you the image and then we will run this generate.py so in the assets directory this is the image.png so this is a cat, image of a cat so let's check it out let's go back here and then let me clear the screen and let's now run this generate.py and first time it is going to download the model which is just under one gig and you see that it has downloaded the model loaded the model and these are the generations of these images so it says uh, i'll just display it again so this is the image it is saying this is a cat sitting on the floor and i think this cat sat facing towards the left so multiple generations of the same image and you can select whichever is cool most of the things look good for example you see the second last one says the background is blurred which is correct and then it's a sort of a brown cat sitting on a surface of mat which maybe i don't think so maybe matting floor and then this is where it is correct okay so let's try out few more now of course this given the size of the model 
don't expect some rocket science performance here let's check the vram consumption if it is using any nothing it is all using cpu okay let me try it out with maybe one of the ocr so for the ocr i am going to give it this image which contains some english language some hindi some german some arabic and few other languages let's see how it goes about it and i have already given it the path to my local image and maybe i'll just change this and i'll say extract text from the image let's see how it goes let's wait for it it is loading the model first it has identified it has and there you go so it says i'm not sure uh, let's start from it nope i don't think so it can do a cr no that is fine let's try to do some uh, vision task maybe we'll try to identify an object next i'm asking it uh, describe this image so you see that i have just changed the prompt here and the location of the image so let me run this again in front of you let's see and you can see that the speed is quite fast running uh, it has identified my CUDA device but still running on CPU as we just saw but we will also check it out once it is doing while it is doing that inference anyway but you can see that it has identified pretty good we see a bridge and black and white image and here we can see building so not bad at all really okay so I'm just going to check out as which city is this which city is shown let's save it i'm just going to open another window to check out the vram consumption while we run that inference so i'm just going to show it to you in real time so i'll just run this here and we will check the vram consumption so it is doing something now yeah it's there you go I know I can run that top command, people keep telling me, but look, I'm a bit old school uh, or maybe lazy. So anyway, you see that it is just consuming 2.3 gig of VRAM. And if you look here, has it given us any clue? Auburn, you know what, there is a suburb in Sydney called as Auburn. I'm not sure if that's the one, but I don't think so. It is able to detect the um, correct location. And now let's try out this one where and these are ai generated images by the way and so in this one there is a woman holding some sort of mobile device let's see if it is able to do that let me run this should be fun if it can detect the mobile phone so because that opens up a lot of possibilities of different applications there you go it says we can see a woman sitting and holding a mobile phone with a platform in front of us, so different stuff is there, and we can of course call the best response. Nice. Okay, I don't think so. It can do the tabular information or chart, but let's try it out. So I'm giving it this image, and I'm asking a simple question to describe the image. Let's see if it is able to do that. Let's wait for it. I will let it run so that you would see the speed shouldn't take too long as you can see so it's a poster there is no alarm now so it can't do really OCR and it cannot of course do table charting and that sort of that sort of stuff so if your use case is that you are really really constrained for resources you just want to um, sort of recognize objects in the images and do very simple vision language tasks then this model makes a lot of sense otherwise of course not but still look at the number of parameters look at the size and they also have shared a training recipe which you can check out on their um, repo that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching